Hi, can you solve this nice Oxford exam question? We are asked to find the value of x in x to the power of x equal to 7. Now let's analyze this question using the normal inspection. By inspection, if we analyze this question by inspection, you will find out that if we have x to be equal to 1, then 1 to the power of 1, which is from the expression given to us, cannot be equal to 7, right? Now, what if x is equal to 2? If x is equal to 2, then 2 to the power of 2, according to the equation given to us, can it be equal to 7? 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4, and this is equal to 7. So that means this cannot be equal to 7. What if we make x to be equal to 3? Then we'll have 3 to the power of 3. Can it be equal to 7? 3 to the power of 3 is 27, and 27 is not equal to 7. And then that means this is not equal to this. So this expression cannot work. X equal to 2 cannot work. And we'll also find out that X equal to 1 cannot work. So what real value or what expression can we use in solving this Oxford exam question given to us? Let's find out how we can solve this using logarithm. We're going to look at using the natural logarithm. So we're going to take the natural log of x to the power of x equal to the natural log of 7. Now from the laws of logarithm, uh, the power, which is this, will come over here to multiply this logarithm. And so we'll have x in of x to be equal to the in of 7. Now if we simplify this, what do we have? If we simplify this expression, uh, we are going to find a solution to this uh, mass expression given to us. But then let's recall two expressions in mathematics, the Lambert W function. Recall that in the Lambert W function, if we have the Lambert of an expression a multiplied by e to the power of a, this can simply be equal to a. And also recall that from any expression, if we have the exponent of the in of x, this expression can simply be equal to x. Now, do you recall these two expressions? We're going to use them in the solution of this. Now, if we apply that to that expression, you can see that x can be equal to the exponent of in of x. Now, if we look at that expression, replacing x there, we're going to have the exponent of the in of x multiplying the in of x and this would be equal to the in of 7, right? Now, from that expression, we are going to interpolate. We'll have this to become the in of x multiplying the exponent value of the in of x, and this would be equal to the in of 7. That way, we have made the expression to simply look like the Lambert expression that is given to us here. So with that expression now, we can be able to take the Lambert of that expression. Now, if we take the Lambert of that expression, this is going to give us the Lambert W function of in of x multiplying the exponent of in of x, and this would be equal to the Lambert of the in of 7. Great. Now in this expression, considering the rule of Lambert, you find out that 
the solution to this over here will be the in of x and the in of x will be equal to the lambert of the in of 7. Great. So what do we do here? To find our final solution, we're going to look at take the exponents of both sides. So if we take the exponent of both sides, this is going to give us the exponent of in of x and this would be equal to the exponent of the Lambert of in of 7. And from that expression, recall this expression that the exponent of in of x is simply equal to s. So that expression is simply going to give me a value of what? x equal to the exponent of the Lambert of in of 7. And what does that mean? This simply tells us that this is absolutely the solution we are looking for to that expression given to us. Now, if we simplify this expression very well, such that the value of our x can now be equal to the exponential value. If we find the product law of the product log of if we find the product log of this expression, we're going to see that the value of our x will be equal to simply 2.3165. And that can be approximately 2.32. That means our value of x can be approximately 2.32. Three, two. Now, if we look at that expression for the value of x, we can simply uh, verify. Now, can that truly be the solution to this expression? Now, let's check, uh, check it out. We are giving x to the power of x. We are giving x to the power of x. And we say this should be equal to 7. Now, if I simplify this into this, will it give me the value of 7 let's say we'll have 2 to the power 2.32 to the power of 2.32 will this be equal to 7 if we verify that will that solution give us 7 i want you to pick your calculator and point if you pick your calculator and point you find out that this solution is going to give me 7.0005, which is closely approximately as approximate to what? To 7. So that tells me that the value of my x, which is equal to 2.32, is absolutely the solution to that mass expression given to me above here. You see, very easy. I know you did enjoy watching this mass solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with friends and colleagues, and subscribe to my channel for more simplified mass content. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.